Hello, the information literacy skill that we'll be going over today is evaluating sources and lateral reading. Sometimes students begin the research projects with websites, however it's important to keep in mind that not all websites are legit and reliable and that's why we need to be able to effectively evaluate and analyze possible sources of information. The AASL Framework for Learning st Learners Standard that this falls under is A43, which is learners act on an information need by making critical choices about information sources to use. So I went ahead and I numbered these just in the order that will go on this Padlet. So the first thing that you're going to do is watch this video on how to find better information online, um, pretty much resisting the urge um, from clicking on the first uh, the first item that pops up on the search so we'll click here and watch this video if you want to expand it you can click here or open in a new window there the top result of a web search is the most trustworthy they often after you'll after you watch this video you'll come over here and click on this Number two, article, Rise of Fake News. So you'll read this article about how fake news thrives online. It's a brief article off of CNN. And then you will read this next article about how the Graduate School of Education at Stanford University is teaching students how to spot misinformation online. Again, this is a brief article to, to go over. After reading this article, you will click on this link here, which will take you to this website. It, it has a lot of great information about evaluating online resources, but I want you to look at the infographic. Just scroll down, and it's just a checklist on how to evaluate online content. So you'll read over that, and it's also here, so you can see it without having to click on the link. You'll come over here and watch this video on evaluating sources using CRAP. And CRAP stands for Currency, Relevance, Authority, Accuracy, and Purpose. So you'll click on this video. Again, you can expand or open in a new window. To succeed at your assignments or research, you should only use quality information, whether it's found in books, journal articles, or websites. So you'll watch that brief video and then you'll come over here and do this activity. It's on a Google slide and it's a lateral reading activity. And if you don't know what that is, we will get into that. But just this is just an introduction to it. So you'll read this article here. And then with the group answer these questions, discuss these questions, look at the features of the website, how can you tell if the source is credible, if they can be trusted or believed, write down what influenced you in, uh, in your evaluation, and then share with the class the criteria that you use to determine the credibility. After we discuss that, you'll come over here and watch this video, which is the introduction to what lateral reading is. How are you taught to evaluate the credibility of online sources? Everyone knows that information on the web may be shallow, incomplete, inaccurate, or heavily biased. So again, we'll watch that and then we'll come back to our activity and then we will answer these questions. So you're going to look at the article again and apply the lateral reading skills that you learned in the video. Pretty much what lateral reading is, is that you're going to go outside of the website where the article is posted and you're just going to fact check the, uh, the source um, using different websites just to see if these, this writing is something that's credible and something that is uh, accurate. Uh, we'll discuss as a group, would you cite the source in, would you cite this source in a research paper or would you share it on social media? After we do this activity, we have a couple of quizzes to take. The first one is on evaluating sources. So you'll click on the link and it should take you directly to the questions. I tested that out before. And then there's another one over lateral reading. Again, you'll click on that. 
and it will take you to the seven questions over lateral reading. There is another video to watch and this is just a refresher over what lateral reading is. And again, expand or open in a new window. Of information overabundance. This demands that we be more discerning. Instead of accepting information at face value, we should always ask this one important question. Who's behind the information? The Stanford history. Okay, so that is the, uh, the lesson on evaluating sources in lateral reading. And this is an important skill that you will be using in real life. So it's important to evaluate sources because if you include unreliable sources in your work, in any research papers or any research projects, that you could lose credibility. And that is something that we want to avoid. We want you to be taken serious, to be taken serious as a scholar. And in order to do that, you need to be able to evaluate your sources thoroughly. Thank you. Have a great day.